All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Levi. I'm just going to wait until the door's closed. <laughs> yeah, one of the disadvantages of having ADD is um, if there's a lot of noise in the background, I'm, I'm out of the zone and you lost me completely. Um, so today I'm going to talk with you about um, ADD. Um, anyone who knows ADD? Right, cool. Already several hands. Good. Uh, anyone suffering from ADD today? Okay, anyone uh, suffering from H DHD? All right, um, good, <laughs> welcome, join the club. Um, so the reason why you're probably sitting here is um, you've already identified yourself that you're having a difficult time when it comes to your HDD or HDHD. Um, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, there's a lot of people who are suffering from this. Um, and our focus for today is to have a look on how we can um, actually uh, cover that and make sure that we are able to focus on our jobs um, in the future. So, first a small introduction of myself. Um, I'm born in 1987. That's the magnificent year where the IBM II um, was introduced. It's also the year where Hollywood was existing already for 100 years. And this cool guy here, that's uh, Windows 2. Um, also, um, MTV was introduced in Belgium, uh, in Europe. Um, and the very first release of Adobe Photoshop was there. I mean, it was already an awesome tool. And also Zelda, uh, the legend was released, as well as Star Trek, the first generation, just to give you an understanding of where I'm coming from. Um, on my day-to-day -day base, I'm working for the reference. Um, we are a Drupal agency. Well, not only Drupal, we are doing Sitecore as well. Um, and I'm working as the solution architect, lead uh, developer, and Drupal evangelist. Now, Drupal evangelist, um, maybe you've never heard of it before, but what I'm doing is I'm actually selling Drupal to not only our clients, but to people in general. I mean, it's an awesome community. It's an awesome uh, content management system. And what I'm doing is I go to events and tell people how great Drupal is. So that's the reason why I'm here as well. Um, on top of that, maybe you've heard about uh, the rumors that there won't be a DrupalCon this year. Um, now, we have been working very hard in Vienna in order to make um, DrupalCon happen. It's not called DrupalCon, but it's called Drupal Euro. And I invite you all um, to join us, and it's in September. Um, no, sorry, it's October, and it will be in Germany, and you can um, order your tickets already online, um, and it's going to be amazing. We've been working very hard to make this happen. So, um, in order to give you a clear understanding of what ADD and HDHD is, um, for the people who are not yet know, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little story about a, a prodigy child who grew up in the early 90s. So this is a very nice picture, and I hate to show it every time, but I keep doing it. Um, so that's me. <laughs> a little bit awkward. Um, so, yeah. Um, so everyone, when I was young, everyone was already chatting with each other about different topics, and everyone was having a very good time. And I felt like I'm sitting here, and I really don't care about what they are saying, because, yeah, Power Rangers, I mean, come on, serious? Um, I received my very first computer when I was four years old. Um, that was the um, Amiga. Um, I um, inherited it from my father. And it was a really cool computer. I mean, I was able to play games on it and that's pretty much it. And then, uh, two years later, I received my very first personal computer, which was uh, running on Windows 3 point something. Um, can't remember it even, actually. And you maybe remember these kind of designs. I mean, there were agencies everywhere. We're in the 90s. You have to imagine there's the big internet bubble where everyone is a, a very sophisticated developer and is building high-end uh, websites. So I've done the same. So um, I've been working on projects um, where there was um, animated backgrounds and counters going on on the, on the page. And it was really cool. 
And that's by that, that by that point in time, I got really intrigued because I was able to develop static uh, pages. Um, and just for your information, by that time I was at eight years old. Um, so then I started working with my very first HTML pages. And by the time I was 12, around 13 years old, um, I was tired of all the static content and I wanted to have some dynamic input. Um, and that's where I found out that uh, this cool guy, PHP, uh, was able to help me. And by that time, I think it was PHP 3 or 4. Um, to give you an idea, if you want to use a function, you have to define your function on top of the document because otherwise below you wouldn't be able to call that function. Just to give you an idea. Also, during that time I got introduced to Linux. Um, today I'm still using Linux or any Unix environment and I still love it. And I realized for myself that I really love website development. Now yet again, you have to imagine that's almost, uh, I think, 15 years ago, um, and by that point in time, um, maybe you've already heard from my accent that I'm coming from Belgium, and in Belgium we didn't have any um, schools that were teaching us how to be a website developer or how to be any kind of developer because it was all very trending and new. So, um, by the time I was 12 years old, um, in Belgium we had to decide what we wanted to become in the future. So some of my friends wanted to be a doctor, some of my friends wanted to be an engineer, some of my friends wanted to, do, uh, wanted to be a fireman or policeman, but I just wanted to build websites. So for me it was not kind of clear um, where I would end in the future. So by the time I got um, 17 years old, um, I started um, multimedia techniques in, uh, in Antwerp, and that was a very new uh, school. Well, the school itself, it's not new, but um, the course itself was very new. So I started to study that. It was very interesting. Um, but the downside was the quality was rather poor because it was very new. And um, they asked me to actually give classes to my fellow students because I knew better HTML than uh, my teacher. Um, I did an apprenticeship at Think Media magazines. Um, in Belgium, it's a very common brand, uh, a very known one, but they actually make lots of magazines. So I started working with those guys, and um, they introduced me to Drupal 5. And I was, by that time, I'm already working on my custom um, CMS system, because everyone has been doing that. And um, that's the first time that I noticed Drupal. And in the beginning, I felt like, man, what's this Drupal guy coming, uh, doing? Um, I don't know. I can do it myself very, uh, way much better. But in the end, I felt truly really in love with Drupal. Um, so yeah, that was a huge win. And um, I felt myself, by that point in time, a real hero because I had the best grades in class when it came to HTML and PHP. So that was really nice. Now. Um, the next step I needed to take was, um, I was 18 years old and I had to go to college. Um, also in Belgium we have various um, courses on IT and stuff like that, but nothing particularly related to Drupal. Drupal. I mean, there's nothing like, yeah, I'm going to study Drupal, because that's, that's not happening. So when I went to a um, colleague, I noticed that during the courses, um, the practical courses, I was like top notch. I received A plus grades, um, and then they asked me to do the theoretical exams, and it was a nightmare. Um, I had to study, and that was very difficult for me. Um, I studied during the night time because then it was able for me. I was able to focus myself on what's in the book. Uh, and I noticed that I had a very difficult time. So, um, at that point in time, I didn't realize it, but I think today we need to create awareness uh, for ADD as well, because um, HDHD is something you can see quite clear um, if someone is suffering from HDHD. I mean, they're very um, hyper, they are very, there's a lot of activity going on, they're having difficulties to even sit still. Um, so therefore, I find it very important that people know what ADD is, and ADD itself is um, actually ADHD, but without uh, the H, obviously. So um, the thing is, we are not hyper-focused, uh, not hyper-active. What I'm saying is that we are able to sit still, we are able to 
um, people won't recognize that we have ADD. But still, the other symptoms, we still have them. So we have lack of focus and hyperfocus. <coughs> a lack of focus uh, and having hyperfocus sounds a bit odd, but what I mean is that with the lack of focus, if I'm sitting in a room and there's people standing over there and they're talking, I'm trying to listen what they're talking about and I don't care about the rest anymore. It's very difficult. On the other <coughs> side, when I'm interested in something which is really interesting to me, like for example, working on a refactoring of some components, I get hyper-focused. So I sit in front of my computer, I start working, a bomb can explode next to me, no matter what happens, I'll, I'll be working on that project. Um, and it can take days, it can take weeks. Um, I even leave my sleep for it sometimes. Then there's also uh, the forgetfulness. So sometimes I, so I'm, I'm married, I'm living with my wife um, in our house, and sometimes I run upstairs because I forgot my, uh, my mobile upstairs. And I enter my bedroom and I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, back downstairs. And now my wife says, hey, you were to, go, you were to go get your mobile, where is it? Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. Um, so I forget a lot of stuff. I mean, I have to write every single thing down because otherwise I forget it. Then there's impulsivity. Um, sometimes it's very useful to have uh, impulsivity. Sometimes it's really bad. Um, when it's really good, I mean, today I can say uh, after this uh, session today or even after uh, Drupal Jam is finished, um, I'm taking my car and I go to the seaside because I want to go to the seaside. I mean, I can do that. Why, won't, why wouldn't I do that? Um, the downside is that sometimes when, and especially for me because I'm a solution architect and I have to make sure that all what I've designed keeps working, but sometimes I get the idea like, nah, this component, this migration, it's not like I wanted it to be. We're going to refactor it, and then all hell breaks loose because my entire team starts refactoring. My managers get angry because I decided to refactor that shit. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting recorded. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, so that's the downside of it as well. And then, um, and this is for me the most difficult part, the lack of motivation. What I notice sometimes is that, um, also as a solution architect, I need to work on proposals for clients. And to be honest, um, it's not always like fun to read 60 pages of their requirements and to make an analysis of what we want to do. No, I want to go back to the refactoring bit, where it's fun and where I can code and start on DevOps. and, and, and I already like their entire DevOps flow is already set up, and I'm still have to go. I still have to go through their um, yeah user requirements. So, yeah, lack of motivation is a very downside. Now the problem is what I see today is that ADD is not often recognized. So um, it's not exactly the same as HDHD, and that's the reason why it's not recognized by people. And that was something I was suffering um, in college, college, uh, college as well. Because people, um, some of my colleagues at uh, HDHD, um, I had ADD and they were treated different because they got ad additional courses, they got extra support from school. And I was like, yeah, what about me? I mean, I need help as well. So I had a really bad time at, um, at my classes. So um, I love practical, like I said, I had eight plus grades, uh, but I hate the theory. In Belgium, we um, have to learn French and I don't speak a word of it. Um, and the downside is of the colleague as well is that I love the beer. Um, so I went through a lot of parties because that was really interesting to me. I mean, socializing stuff. Um, so I noticed that there were problems ahead. I mean, this is a recipe for disaster for me. And by that point in time, I really got uh, messed up with myself. So um, I was lost. I, I got confused about what is my future? Um, will I be able to have a job? Um, all of my, uh, my, my friends were already having um, their degrees. And I was doing for the second and the third time the same course over and over again. So that was really yeah, difficult for me. Um, then they came up with a new course called Multimedia Communication. Um, there I started off um, and it was really interesting for me because it was more practical and um, there was less theory, which is also a big win. 
Um, so for me, it seemed to be like a huge success, but I failed yet again. Um, even though there was less theory, there was still theory. And uh, I didn't manage to learn all the theory. Um, so yeah, recipe for disaster yet again. So when you're having ADD or ADHD, um, these quotes are quite familiar. Um, well, maybe not the third one, but um, I heard so many times that I'm a difficult child to deal with. And not only uh, from my parents, but just in general from people. Um, on school, everyone, every single teacher kept saying to me, you have to focus harder during the courses because your grades are, are really bad. Yeah, then my wife said to me once um, when I was opening the door that I forgot to wear my pants. I had to add this. Um, and also, this quote is coming from my wife. You are the definition of chaos. Um, so, in my mind, everything is very uh, structured. Um, for example, my, uh, the place where I'm working from home, it's a, in her eyes, it's a big mess. But for me, if she asks me, can you point me to that document? I can, yep, it's right here, here you go. And she's like, how do you find that? It's impossible. But for me, it's very normal. And then there's this, um, so, I have no idea how many projects I've been working on. Um, hundreds, thousands of, sorry, uh, very good ideas. Um, but it's like I start working on it and it's like, this is the best idea ever. I start working on it and in the end I get bored and I abandon the project. Um, to give you an idea, I have been working on um, so yeah, Drupal 8 comes with Symfony, all the theory and stuff, but uh, Symfony itself, they have insights. Um, and it's kind of a CI CD tool where you can analyze your code. Um, I developed that way before they came up with that, but I never released it. And now they're making lots of money. <laughs> um, so I kept asking myself, why is it that I start working on this project, but never am I able to achieve something? So therefore, um, are there people who are not having ADD or AD ADHD? Everyone in this room is having it? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> All right, so um, therefore, I'm going to uh, introduce you on how it actually feels to have ADHD or ADD. So um, there's a small thing I'm going to do. So um, during the next slides, I will show you several weird things, um, there will be a lot of background noise, there will be a lot of activity going on, and try to answer these questions um, as soon as I'm done with it. So how many different beers did you see? How many times did you see the beer, the same beer? How many modules did you hear in the song? How many slides with kitties did you see? How many times did I walk in front of my computer? And how many times did the light go out? Actually, we are not going to put the lights out. Um, and how many kitties in total did you see? So. Um, I would say good luck. Oh, I can't. A lot of people yeah, maybe there's a lot of noise and music, but. <laughs>
All right. Now I still hope that um, the answers are correct because I used this in <laughs> a previous session. So, oh, I spoiled it already. <laughs> Um, sorry for the beers as well, they are um, all Irish, but I like Irish beers. So how many beers did you see? How many? Three. Three. Someone else? Four? Okay, three, four. Um, how many times did you see the same beer? <coughs> Once? Two. Two times? Okay. Um, how many, yeah, that's a difficult one because normally um, I use the, um, the audio equipment, but how many modules maybe did you hear in the song, if you know the song? Three, okay. Um, how many slides with kitties did you see? I counted the kitties myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many times did I walk in front of my computer? How many times did the light go out? Not yet. <laughs> How many kitties in total did you see? 26. <laughs> probably too low. <laughs> okay, so you did see six different beers. Um, like I said, all uh, Lagos from uh, Dublin. There were in total 23 slides with kitties on them. And in total you saw actually 64 kitties. And you heard, you heard four modules during the song. Uh, and I walked four times in front of my computer. So that is just to give you an idea of how difficult it is to deal with HDD or HDHD. I mean, we are focusing on so many various inputs and in the end, if someone is asking us questions like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so um, time is moving very fast. So now what is the best thing for you to do when you're suffering from HD, HD or ADD? Um, well, this slide actually says already quite a lot. Um, or you go through your life and say, ah, oh, damn, I have ADD, ADHD. Or you just take all your belief together and you just go for it. You just ignore it and, well, it's difficult to ignore, but um, try to, to work with it. And I can imagine that you say, okay, yeah, that's quite easy to say, but um, it's not impossible. So. This is an idea which works perfectly for me, um, and it sounds childish, but what I do is I have like a huge car um, in the kitchen, and every single day I have a task. For example, put out the garbage, um, clean the dishes, um, stuff like that. And every time I uh, complete a task, I can add um, a point on top of it. And for every week uh, I completed all of my tasks, I get a five euro deposit on PayPal from my wife. Childish, I know, but it works. Um, so, also time is very important, I mean, we are, we are suffering, um, we need structure, um, so therefore make for yourself your own timing, um, wake up every single day uh, at the same time, go to sleep every single day at the same time, even during the weekends, I mean, okay, you're going to a party, too bad, just make sure that you get up at 7 in the morning the day after and you will notice that it will help a lot. Um, this one is actually a very good tip I received from someone. Um, if you're using Evernote, just use tags for everything. Is it a meeting minute? Um, is it the client? Is it what kind of clients? It helps to uh, generate that structure inside your mind. If someone is asking me a question about a project I've been working on two years ago um, and whether I still have uh, an idea about what the people said, it's just like filling in these keywords and uh, my mind map is showing me the results. It's very powerful. So use tagging. Talk about it. I mean, me and my wife, the, the, the hours we spent on talking about um, HDD and HDHD, it's really important that you talk about it. And that's also the reason why I'm standing right here in front of you. Um, we have to talk about it. There's no reason you should be ashamed of it. Um, it's very important that you talk about it. And sharing is caring. I mean, it's always the same. Um, share your experiences. Do you have any tips or tricks um, which you think it might be useful uh, for other people as well? Just share them and you can just tell, tell them to me. I'll add, it to, I'll add them to the slides. Um, but anything which helps is helpful. So that's it for today. Um, I hope that you now have a clear understanding about what this is and how difficult it is uh, to live with it. And if you identify someone within your team, um, just 
talk to them and say, okay, look, um, I noticed you have ADD or HDD. Do you want to talk about it? How can we help you and be supportive to, to them as well? Um, furthermore, if you have any tips or tricks, you can always reach out to me. I'm happy to add them to the slides. Um, I'm doing the same session at several events. Um, so please um, talk to me. Any questions? Yeah, well, maybe it would be nice to have something to share all these uh, tools and, and things because uh, I got the same problems. I mean, you look like a copy uh, in, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, and I found myself also a lot of ways to, to, to handle all these problems, you know? And for me, I, I got some tools on my phone, but also I know that sometimes I have to get rid of my phone because yeah. all the notifications are, uh, are, are a big problem also. So also on my office, I got a lot of ways to handle with concentration and focus. So that really helps me and maybe it would be nice if we could share those things together because when I, 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 I can send you all my toolings and how I handle it nowadays, but it would be nice if I get something back yeah, and yeah, you can yeah, share yeah. it within yeah. the Drupal community also okay. because I know that a lot of creative people, people like developers and are suffering from it because I I know that statistically people with ADHD and ADHD are also creative people mm -hmm. so a lot of them are working in this creative world you gave me an insane idea I'm going to start working on it right after this <laughs> no no no, no. Uh, actually uh, so that's the input I'm receiving from several uh, people as well yeah. Um, so there is an idea that we use Open Atrium, which okay. is a Drupal distribution for it, yeah. okay. um, and start using that as a collaboration tool. I mean, any huge uh, hosting provider is willing to give us free hosting for that, so it's definitely a good idea. Okay. Um, if you just give me your details after the session, then uh, yeah. I can keep you in the loop. Nice. Any other questions? Right. So at, at the start, you, you noted that was difficult to get things done, basically, right? Mm -hmm. So you had all these ideas, but you don't have any realization. So now you're giving like tips and tricks and stuff, but for that to actually work, you need to realize them, which is kind of like a catch-22. You have to, you basically are offering ideas and now are asking like, do do it. And that's where I always find trouble myself. <laughs> you mean like you can't find um, the energy to start doing it or well, you I can't find like the X factor to get started I have no clue why I don't start things yeah um, I, I have exactly the same and um, what's helpful for that for example you need to find yourself an influencer for me the influencer is my wife for example because if she's angry I'm scared and what helps is and actually it's a, it's a Fun idea, um, but sometimes she makes posts and writes. Um, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of PlayStation as well. And sometimes I find myself a note on the PlayStation saying, "You sure you want to do this?" Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I turn my back. It's like, oh no. <laughs> so that's a, also a very good idea, and it's very helpful. So find yourself an influencer, someone. It can even be a colleague. I mean, a colleague, your your lead developer. It can be your manager. Talk with your manager about it. Tell her that or him that. Um, you need to like influence me and make sure that um, I do stuff. And in in work relationship, it's it's kind of yeah easy because they have to tell you to do it. Uh, but for your personal life, you also need to find yourself an influencer, a good friend, um, a partner, someone where you can share all these ideas with. And the the to do thing, uh, well the sticky note thing, it's really powerful. I was really surprised by the effect, and it's very helpful. All right, thank you. Welcome. Any other questions? All right. Thank you for your time. <laughs>